Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to CodingScientist.com. You are watching the most exciting Zero to Hero series on ESP32 and ESP32 camera module for IoT, robotics and artificial intelligence using MicroPython and C++. That is what this series is going to be and it's going to be absolutely from Zero to Hero. All right guys. So I hope you are ready with your Arduino IDE and uh, you know Thony IDE which I showed you in the previous lesson. Both the IDEs are important to work in parallel. However, for the beginners, for the first timers, you need to understand your laptop, the machine which you are connected to your ESP32 requires the Python environment. You need to set up the Python tools and Python programming language into your machine so in this lesson i'm going to show you how to download python and set it up in your laptop not on the esp32 but on your laptop because it's very important that the laptop in the laptop once you install python that is where your binaries are getting are going to be compiled between your laptop and esp32 when you write micro python code using thony ide so it's very important you need to follow those certain uh, thumb rules right so open up the browser i am going to share my screen open up the browser what you need to do you need to type python.org python.org like this click enter you will get this beautiful page now let's find out where to download there is a download section click on you don't have to click but there is also automatically it picks up windows download for windows because my machine is on windows and there is also download for mac operating system right so you can do that as well if you have a mac for linux i will show there's going to be a separate lesson for that especially using jetson nano how to install python how to configure python using pip right and that's going to be in future for now let's go ahead and download for windows so i'm not going to click this it's 3.9.5 i have already installed it but there is also a note section can you see it here note that python 3.9 plus cannot be used on windows 7 or earlier that means if you are you are using a older version of windows operating system windows 7 or before this is not going to be supported so i suggest go ahead and upgrade to windows 10 uh, and you know th that's that's what it's basically it's re required right you can go ahead and read rest of the things what is available on python.org but for now go ahead and install you know uh, just click here uh, where was that go to download python 3.9 5.5 click install and it's going to take you to the same step what you did in Thony IDE, you just need to click next, 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 accept the terms and condition. Boom, that's it. Your Windows machine is ready with Python. Now, how do you test your machine is ready with Python? What you need to do, go to the bottom on the search, type here to search. You can see a window at the bottom of your screen, type here to search. There you can type Python. I type Python, I can see this Python 3.9 and idle Python 3.9.64 bit. So idle is basically an inbuilt IDE for writing a quick commands, a quick program, Python program and check whether your interpreter is working or not. It's basically an interpreter, not an IDE. So let me click on IDE, interpreter IDE, oh, sorry idle, it's IDLE, idle. Now oh, I can see this beautiful window. Let's say print. Now we are going to check whether the Python is working or not in your Windows laptop. Print. Hello coding scientist. All right. Hit enter. Hello coding scientist. Fantastic. Python is working. It's set up as install on my machine and i am going to close this window all right guys so if you guys are 
ready with this installation you know once your python is ready on your system uh, we are all set to rock and roll we have our arduino environment ready now to write c c++ program or some of the arduino projects which we can transfer into esp32 and we have thony ide installed to write micro python program in esp32 now we have our uh, python installed in windows laptop itself so our entire setup is ready and we are ready to move ahead with the next step however we are still not ready to write the code and the programs into esp32 there are few more configurations be patient i'll be back in the next lesson to show you what those configurations are bye bye